We use something called the plurality system in the US. And what is a plurality system? Well, it says that everyone votes for a single candidate and the person with the most votes wins. So everyone votes for one person and then the most votes wins. And I don't know, if you don't push very hard on this system, it seems like there's really no problem with that, right? But whenever there's more than one choice, you can immediately see some problems. And let's like motivate why we're looking at anything other than a plurality system. Because like if the plurality system was kind of the only interesting voting system, then we would just stop right now. But the reason it's not the only interesting voting system is because of these like interesting problems that we see. So the, you know, kind of the main problem is that it's possible for a candidate with the most votes to have way less than 50% of the votes. So, which maybe doesn't seem like a huge issue, but it becomes a, an issue when a collection of candidates is maybe on one side and then the single candidate that wins is on the other side. So it's possible for the winner to have far fewer than 50% of the votes. 50% of the votes being what we call a majority, right? So there are a couple of kind of classic examples that people point towards to see something like this. 